All right, hi folks, Bear Paul Seven here today. Um, today we're going to do a little bench pyramiding. We're going to use a uh, Olympic bar in a power cage. Um, pyramiding is the principle of starting at zero or maybe an empty bar and uh, stacking on a plate after every set. Stacking on a plate, stacking on a 45, stacking on a 10, stacking on a 5, a 2 and a half. Whatever uh, fits your body strength or training program, um, you pyramid up and you just snap on a plate, do a set, take a breather, read your Bible a little bit, put on another plate, do another set, take a little breather, read your Bible, put on a plate, do another set, and you just you keep you keep ascending, ascending to the heights of the weight and it's called pyramiding. Today we're going to do bench pyramiding. You can do it with squats, curls, triceps, shoulders, lat pulls. You can do it with, with uh, any exercise uh, weightlifting movement. But today we're going to uh, use a bench as our standard of pyramiding. And we're going to pick up where we left off last time in uh, Bible reading. and. Uh, Matthew 6 at the end of the chapter and we're going to roll into chapter 7 for just a little bit and then we're going to get right into bench pyramiding. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Judge not that ye be not judged, for with the judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye make, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. So, um, Christian body, uh, believers, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, Make sure your own eye is clear before you go and help another brother and sister to pull the splinter out of their eye. So make sure your own life is clean before you go try to help someone else. And we all get our feet dirty, but you got to wash your feet every day. You know, that principle of Jesus stooping down and washing the disciples' feet. The Lord's got to wash us, our feet up, you know, every day, sometimes every hour. And, uh, and you get back up, you know, and uh, so get yourself clean and then help another brother or sister uh, get themselves clean. And with, with that, um, we're going to move into our pyramiding bench workout. <clears throat> we're going to call this uh, workout 106. Uh, the workout 106, the 100 series, um, that is the, uh, I would say, beginner to intermediate uh, workout um, series. Um, once we get to the 200s, we'll be getting more into the uh, advanced, uh, a little more hard cranking, but for now, the 100 series, we're going to stay focused on the beginner to intermediate uh, bodybuilder, weightlifter, fitness enthusiast, uh, whatever. Uh, with that, I'm going to have a little slurp of my coffee out of my bear cup here, if you don't mind. A uh, little coffee with your workouts, mighty good. Got my little bear cups here. My kids bought them for me. Actually, four of the kids each bought me one of them, so now I have four of these babies, and they're beautiful. Very good for drinking coffee. And with that, just one quick safety uh, note. These are spring clips. Spring clips. If you look behind me, there's an Olympic bar. The spring clips are already on the one I have behind me, I have two extras, just in case I lose one. Always use 
your collars or your spring clips. Always use them. Because you never know when you might lose it and you bar and then you got a, a whole situation on your hands. Use your spring clips, use your collars. Safety. Think about that. Okay? All right, here we go. We're uh, going to uh, crank right into a pyramid uh, session. And I'm going to try and uh, move into this fast so you kind of get the idea. Um, I'm not a power monster. And what I do is not what you do. Don't worry about it. Okay, but we're just gonna we're gonna slap on some plates right now. I got a plate on each side, and uh, I'm gonna do a set. So I'm gonna slap on another plate, take a little breath. We're gonna do another set, and we're gonna slap on another plate, take a little breath, slap on another plate, take another breath, slap on another plate. In between, read the Bible a little bit. That's pyramiding. Okay, so and with that, we are going to go now. Here we go. Nice, comfortable position on a flat bench in the power cage. Then try and bring the bench right across a comfortable position across the chest. So it feels good. Nice, whatever's comfortable for your arms. I take my little fingers here, my little ones, and I put them right in the line on the Olympic bar. For me, that works good. Maybe you want it closer, maybe you want it farther out. Whatever works for you, that's, you'll have to figure that out. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, nice comfortable 12 reps. Pull that baby right across here. You know, just a nice comfortable stretch. All right, not too much jerking. But you want to move, you know, you want to, want to drag it. Sometimes you can crank them out, hop up, slap on a plate. Other times maybe you're feeling a little tired. Take a little breath, look over your Bible a little bit, that's good. Building your spiritual body while you're cranking up your physical body. So we just take a little breath. And when I came out to the Bears gym today, it was about 16 degrees. And uh, so, your body doesn't quite have the energy it, it would maybe in the summertime. In the summertime, maybe you'd be a little more energetic and you'd be maybe cranking, maybe moving a little faster. And uh, anyway, the Bears gym, we just uh, I lift weights to whatever the environment beholds me. And today it's cold, in the summer it's 100 degrees plus in here. And I'm sweating and all my pores are nice and clean. But it's not summer, it's Wisconsin and it's winter time. So I deal with it, whatever, whatever uh, the Lord gives me, that's what I deal with. So here we go, we're going to go over the bar and we're going to slap on some plates. Be right back. All right, see a couple tens here. And uh, just a BTW, look at my little plates. I got some scripture verses written on my... Uh, uh, my plates here, kind of, kind of cute. My son-in-law wrote those on there for me. He has a uh, very good handwriting. I won't mention his name. Cause maybe he don't want me to mention his name, so I won't. But he knows who he is. And uh, so he wrote them scripture verses on me, on for me, because he has very good handwriting. And uh, that Olympic set was part of a uh, Christmas present uh, one year. He surprised me with, and that was, was very nice. And uh, but anyway, uh, got my spring clips on. I'm looking first, you know, safety first. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to go back. We're going to lean back and we're going to do a nice, comfortable set. Nice, smooth movements. Smooth movements. Here we go. All right, once again, taking a little finger here. All right, we'll put them on the line. Most Olympic bars have a little line you can kind of find where your uh, hands are going to be. And this one is no different. Here we go. Three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, just nice comfortable reps. Once again, just pull that baby over a nice, comfortable position across your chest. Anyway, that's kind of the basis of pyramiding. And I'm looking at the time on my clock. Maybe I run my lips too much, I don't know. But uh, my plan is to try and push three to five sets in there so you can kind of see what's happening. Could be I run my lips too much and chew the flap, but it's all part of this training program. I want uh, hoping to bless you with some spiritual insight, what the Lord's given me, and some bodily discipline uh, insight, insight uh, that the Lord has shown me over the last uh, 48 years at this point. And uh, so, unfortunately, we're going to have to call it quits for today, but I think you got the idea. And uh, uh, just keep stacking on the plates till it feels comfortable for you. Once again, if you're working out alone, try to get in a power cage uh, or use dumbbells to pyramid. Uh, if you're working on a regular bench and you're pyramiding, get a spotter. All right, I, I'm all by myself in the Bears gym here. Um, it's a brutal environment, but I'm comfortable here. But I got a nice power cage so I can do squats, bench, whatever I want in here. With the safety bars all in place, so I'm safe. If you ain't got a power cage, use a spotter. That's 